Hey guys, it's Bethany. Today is Sunday, September 24th, and it's time for me to prep a new homeschool unit. So the way that we do homeschool is we have a reading phonics program, a math program, and our unit that we found from this lovely company called Learn and Live Letter, where everything is laid out for you. So nice, everything is planned out. You got your books, you've got your activities, you've got even some script to kind of help explain things sometimes. It's fabulous. It, you do have to pay for it. It's, I believe, $25 a month, but I'll fact check myself on that. Um, but they also have like built a community on Instagram because they are homeschool moms too. So they have a ton of resources and we started using them last January. So this is our second semester using them and it has been a total game changer in helping keep Olive motivated to do the things that are a little bit harder, a little bit more fatigue inducing the this because the sounding out words and you know working through math can be really tiring for them and it's very nice to have something that's educational but also that we get excited about and is fun to do and it's a multi-sensory program it incorporates a lot of science some math a lot of literacy some handwriting practice copy work geography social studies all kinds of stuff and it does it in a very fun play playful way which we love um, and for Belle I'm not gonna talk about today but I do also pulled out my playing preschool which is by Susie who is the busy toddler on Instagram I started doing that with Olive when she was in preschool and we loved it and I'm pulling just just a couple of like maybe books and activities here and there for Belle to add in. I love that program. If you're looking for something for ones that are even smaller, you can do that and it's very play based and I feel like that Learn and Live Letter is the busy toddler's big sister. Like she grew up and she started school and this is what she's doing now. So I'm loving it and I'm going to show you guys how I prep the unit. It, I mean honestly it's really planned out for you but I do break it down and it takes us about twice as long to complete a unit um, than they have allotted because we just can't get it all done in a day and that's totally fine. It's You go at your own pace, do what you want to do. If there are activities you don't want to do, obviously you don't have to do them. Anyways, we love it. So what I go ahead and do to plan out is I go ahead and take a look at all the materials that we're going to need they have that listed out for you if there's anything i need to add to my amazon cart or to my grocery order i'll go ahead and add those on and make sure that i have those just before it's time to do those lessons i don't need to have those today it's okay um, but just to kind of have that in my head that i'm going to need those things and then i go ahead and print out all the printouts that i'm going to need for the week or for, for the whole unit which is about two weeks that's super helpful for me and yeah, and then I have my little calendar to kind of help keep me on track. So I'll show you how I do that. So when you log on to their website and you go to the unit study themes, you do have to be a member to be able to access these. So I think they have some sample ones that you can access if you're not. Last year we did level one. This year we moved up to two plus because the two plus is supposed to be for Olive's age and also have some adaptations that you can add in for younger siblings. So that's what we're doing. Here you see all of the options for fall. They have it, all of them for the whole year actually. You And you can absolutely do whichever ones of these that you want in whichever order that you want. There's, it's totally up to you. But I go ahead and give Olive all of the fall options and then I let her pick what she wants to do next. So we're probably not going to get through all of these. So we'll probably just do the ones that are most interesting to her. We've already done Australia. We've already done reptiles. That's what we're finishing up. And our next one is desert. So I'm going to go ahead and click on desert. And here we go. So there's a little note. There's a skills tracker you can download. I downloaded this at the start and then I realized that the way that I write down our lesson plans it's this wasn't really helpful for me I was just writing things down twice so I don't use that but you totally can and it's a good way to keep track of your especially your read alouds it has all the books you need I started out trying to find the all these books at our local library and did not have a very good time doing that our library here is smaller and a lot of the books they didn't have or they would be checked out 
So instead of trying to go to the library and get all the books in advance, I've had a lot of success finding read alouds on YouTube and the girls seem to really enjoy those. Also, it gives you a break from talking when you're the one doing a lot of the talking. A lot of times, they will already have the read aloud linked for you, but if they don't, I've had great success just going to YouTube and typing in da 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 read aloud and finding them that way. Or finding similar stories too. Um, we end up reading a lot more than just these because we'll find YouTube will kind of like suggest other things for us and we'll find them that way. Or in addition to that, we do go to the library after we start the unit and turn in all of our other books from the previous unit and then see what kind of books that we can find that pertain to this unit. <laughs> and then here are the supplies that you need. A lot of them are just general supplies, but anything that I don't have offhand, I'll just go ahead and make a list to, to add to my grocery list or Amazon. So for example, I don't have sand, I don't have mason jars with lids, um, I'm going to need, need to let the girls pick out a couple succulents. Um, white cardstock, I'll have to check on, bottle caps, I have to get those from Amazon, some gold spray paint, flexible tubing, and safety pin. But you'll see they have stuff linked for you too, so you're like, bottle caps? Where am I going to find bottle caps? And they've linked you, Amazon. Again, you don't have to use their links, but you can, and they're, I find them very useful. And then just some things that I need to find around the house, like a small water bottle, a large plastic bottle that I need to save, and some binder clips. So everything else I already have in our craft closet or our homeschool stash. So, And it says they recommend doing the lessons in order, which we do. We don't necessarily go in order of the units, but I do typically go in order of the days that they have them laid out for us. So this week tells us a little bit about the desert. We've got sources, some stuff that we can read to them. And then our first activity is we're going to create a world map with sand, which is very fun. And then we're also going to build our own desert biome. You'll see that they have, those are the first two activities listed for that day. There's another activity listed. I'm not going to get to that. I, I know that there's no way we're going to finish those two activities and our reading and math and calendar time. So I break the days up just like a little bit like this. I have our unit and actually I have one from reptiles. To start, here we have last week's unit and how I, I broke them up. So I broke up the lizards in, from one day to two days. I broke up the crocodilians from one day to two days. I added, no, I broke snakes into two days. <laughs> I broke turtles into two days. And then we have an extra day here with the Komodo dragons at the end. Then, so that w what would have taken five days, according to their lesson plan, is going to take us nine. So that, and that, with our four-day school week, that is two and school weeks in one day. That's how, just how it kind of works out. So for this unit, I have broken up our first day into two days. And then I took that third activity and tacked it on with the activities that they have here for, for day two for day three. I don't know if this is making sense with all my days, but um, this is just how I lay it out so that I can kind of see what we have coming up. They have a cacti matching game that we're going to do. So they've got a link here. And the one thing that <laughs> drives me about these, I, I appreciate so much these resources, but why do they make it so hard to find the links, you know? I don't want load notifications actually. Get your printable here. Is this the one? Is this it? Oh my gosh. Yep, found the printable. So I'm going to print this out. See, it wasn't too hard to find. Just to do a little scrolling. My next step, now that I have our list of supplies that I need to get, and I have our days planned out for when we're going to do what, my next step is to print out all of my printouts. And I'll show you what I already have, because I haven't printed these out yet, but I have some of the printouts the, for things that we're going to do for the reptiles. This is for a fraction activity that we're going to do with Play-Doh, and we laminated it, so it works as like a little Play-Doh tray. Genius. Why did I not think of that, that you could turn anything into a little Play-Doh tray if you just laminate it? 
and I have a laminator I can link it for you it sounds super fancy and extra but it's really not it was affordable and you can buy the little refill sheets online and it's it comes in handy for things like this especially if you want to redo activities reuse things you're gonna to want to have a laminator so I thought that was such a good idea Oh, also, I always try to print out two things, <laughs> even if I know Belle is probably not going to be interested in doing it. It never fails that if I don't print out an extra for her, she's going to want to do it and be mad that I didn't have one for her. Make these into like these little fold out presentation things with, uh, we're going to write some facts. Some test you done facts. Had y'all ever heard that word before? Test you done? <laughs> Apparently that is the group that includes the tortoises and turtles. So there you go. I do love how much I'm learning with them. Phonics game that we're gonna play. And I also print out coloring sheets for them to do at the beginning of the day while I read a poem and um, we sing our ABCs and stuff. They have a little coloring sheet that matches our unit theme that I just go find clip art, like a coloring image online and print it out for them. <laughs> I usually do that right now too while I'm doing all my preps. So let's get started doing some of our printouts. I printed everything out. Hopefully there's enough paper and ink and nothing got jammed and everything ran smoothly and there's no problems the printer's downstairs let me go see and i'll bring those uh papers back up to show you things didn't go according to plan first of all i got jammed i did have enough paper second of all i'm out of ink and my computer didn't tell me i'm out of ink and it doesn't even look as bad i feel like on here as it does in real life but like the ones that were like pictures of actual animals and stuff look really bad. I'm gonna reprint on black and white because I don't have time to go get another print cartridge, change it, like I wanna get this done, you know? It's okay for it to be in black and white this week, we'll survive. Literally everything in my childhood that was printed out was in black and white. I think it'll be okay, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna print everything out again, black and white this time. Not wasting the paper though, I flipped it over, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we're back. I ended up having to come downstairs and like babysit it. I ended up having to change out the black, the black and white ink. Then I had to babysit and make sure each thing didn't get jammed. I was like, this is just isn't working out with me being upstairs. So anyways, we got everything printed. I'm gonna show you everything. And there's actually one thing today that I'm gonna laminate and I'm gonna do that so you can see my laminator. And then we'll be done. We'll be prepped for this unit. I, the only other things I'll have to prep are math and reading. And they are so super fast and easy. I'm not even gonna show them today. If you wanna see like me set up the night before maybe, like set up the, the unit stuff the night before and then like the math and reading stuff, let me know and I'll show you what that is. It's so fast and easy because I do this prep on the weekends and I promise it usually doesn't take me this long. I usually am not having to set up a camera. I'm usually not having to have this many problems with printing out stuff. I promise it's usually really fast, easy, and painless. But anyways, this is where we are now. So thanks for sticking with me. You're not going to believe this, but my camera died. So I don't know where it cut me off. We've this has been the vlog of trials, I'm telling you, problems. So we have this, I'm going to laminate these. Both of the girls all have said she wanted me to uh, laminate hers as well. These little skipping puzzles go perfectly along with where we're at in math right now because we just uh, finished up subtraction and are starting working on counting by twos. We're working on counting to 100. So right now we're at 30. This is by threes to 30, so I thought we could you throw that in there. And then Belle has one too. They can try to make the picture. Might be a little harder with black and white, but we'll see. I'm not gonna laminate those. This is for a little story map activity. And then this is a phonics activity. It's a little uh, pluralizing. Um, we're gonna learn about pluralizing um, words, like when to use S and when to use ES. 
the rule. I don't know the rule yet. I'm about to read it. I know when to do it, <laughs> but you know, I'm learning too. So that's an activity for that. Um, the other thing I need to eliminate are these tin frames. We're supposed to use water beads with them, um, which I don't have on my list yet. So water bean beads or anything else. I thought we could use like Play-Doh too if we need to. I don't know, I'm down for the Play-Doh mats, okay? So let's get these laminated and put everything away. We'll be done with our units, guys. Let's do it. This is my laminator. <laughs> Now the fun part, cutting all this out. I also went ahead and printed off our first two coloring sheets because I figure if we start this on Wednesday, we'll need two for the week. If we start on Thursday, next one of next weeks is already printed out too. So just do these cutie little cactuses, cacti, and then a desert box with a little desert escape for them to color in the morning. All right, friends, we did it. We are prepped for a whole nother unit with Learn and Live Letter. Got all of our printouts here, a little cactus game, and I'm just gonna go put this stuff away. The only other thing I need to do to make sure that I get ready for the week is look over reading and math and see what we're doing there. It'll just take me a few minutes to just glance over it. And then I'll set everything out for tomorrow. Like I said, if you are interested, if you like this kind of homeschool content, if you're interested in hearing more, please let me know and I would be happy to talk about it more. I know it's not something I talk about very much here, but it is a really big part of our lives and it has been for the past three years this is our third year yeah and it hasn't always gone as fun and smooth as it's going right now i feel like we've really found a groove with where we are and i'm really enjoying it so hopefully this can be um, helpful or maybe give you some homeschool inspiration and um yeah thank you so much just for hanging out if you're just curious as to, to what we're doing and how i start a week wherever you are whatever you're doing thank you so much for hanging out i really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video and i will be back with more videos homeschool or not very soon bye